morning everybody welcome to rise and shine you know in uh, exodus 14 1 through 30 is a wonderful story about the israelites coming out of egypt and they saw many many miracles they had and as they came out of egypt Egypt, Egyptians gave them money, gave them gold, gave them silver and clothes. They had so many wonderful things that they saw, and the, so they knew that their God was mighty. But when they started coming out of, of, of Exodus, and they're coming out of Egypt, and they've got the Red Sea in front of them, Pharaoh turned around and said, let's go after the Israelites. So he takes his 600 chariots and captains and men, and they start running after the Egyptians. So what does the Egyptians do? They are pinned in. They got the Red Sea. They didn't know they could cross in front of them and they got death behind them and they've got indecision and fear in front of them. And they're kind of pinned in at this point. So what did they do? They complained. <laughs> they complained. They told Moses, why did you take us out of Egypt if they're going to come up and they're going to kill us anyway? We want to go back to Egypt. You see, sometimes it's easier to go back into your slavery than it is to walk in faith. Sometimes it's easier to take a look at the fear in front of you, the sickness behind you, the indecision, and think, you know, I'm gonna go back there, back to that slavery, back to feeling that you are, are depressed and, and fearful, and that you just can't, you're indecision, you feel unworthy, you're de feeling shame and guilt. Sometimes it's easier to go back there than it is to walk in faith. So what did God tell Moses when the people said, Oh my God, we're all going to die. This is on verse 15. This is what God said to Moses. Why are you crying to me? Lift up your rod. So what is he telling Moses? That rod was a symbol of your authority. He's saying, lift up your authority and start moving forward. And so I'll tell you the same thing. When you're pinned in on both sides, fear in front of you, sickness behind you, depression, shame, guilt, unworthiness, stand up and rise. Get out of that slavery. Stand up and use your authority and start moving forward. Don't go back into that slavery again. Amen and amen. Let me just pray for your body, pray for healing. Oh, Heavenly Father, I come to you. And Lord Jesus, I thank you that you're our healer. Your word says you're our healer. You said, by your stripes, I am healed. Lord God, you said, I sent my word and healed you. So Lord God, on the basis of your word, on the basis of the covenant, we come to you, Lord God, now in the name of Jesus. And I'm asking for any heart problems and palpitations that you're having, that of any of heart problems to be, to have to cease to exist in your body in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, for arthritis that is going to be cured in Jesus, that is cured in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, that your bones are full with marrow and they're strong and you can walk and run and not be weary and walk and not be faint. We thank you, Lord God, that for any ear problems and throat problems, Lord God, has cured in the name of Jesus. Anybody who has the virus in the name of Jesus is, is cured in the name of Jesus, has lost its sting. For sickness and illness in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great, wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.